Heather Kurt, of the 17 people in the hospital right now, we now know that six are in critical condition. One person is in the burn unit. Firefighters were first dispatched to a gas leak around 930 this morning, where contractors were drilling and struck a natural gas line. Crews began immediately evacuating that area. The explosion occurred about 40 minutes later. Witnesses described the moments that followed as that of a war zone. Just sitting at my desk and felt the whole building shake. Um, pieces of the ceiling came flying down on the desktop and the clock fell off the wall. Um, just a gigantic boom. We were evacuated um, and saw that the buildings across the street had blown in windows. Uh, there was glass um, all over the sidewalks uh, just across the street. This was be about a block away from the site. A lot of destruction there. Witnesses say the explosion sounded like a bomb. It happened at a former car dealership that now serves as a hub for several businesses. The two-story building is now missing its roof and a back wall. The inside is filled with charred debris. Four nearby buildings were damaged as well. Now officials say parts of downtown Durham could be closed for a couple of days as authorities investigate. A search and rescue mission continues to ensure all victims are accounted for. We'll keep you posted on this one. In the First Alert Center, Brent Solomon, back to you.